welcome to the floaty lady channel i'm jenna today we are opening up the nucleus a wireless power supply for your rotary pen made by hard life rotaries let's unbox it the nucleus Nucleus, why are you so shiny? We went with the uh, gold. The Nucleus is 45 grams. The gold is really pretty. So here we go, we have the voltage conversion. Um, as you can see, it goes from one to 26. Uh, the battery pack I'm holding right now is at a 26, which would be a 12 volt uh, conversion. So that's the maximum operating voltage there. And yeah, so you have a graphic here. Depending on your machine, you're gonna wanna operate at different voltages. So for example, we're gonna be trying this on the NUMA for my next piece. The NUMA operates between 4.5 and 9 volts, so if we look at the conversion table here, we see 4.5 is uh, 1, and 9 volts is 16. So you're going to want to stay between a 1 and a 16 if you're using the NUMA with the nucleus. So we're at an 8 right now, which would be a 6.6. .6. Um, I'm going to go up to a 9 or actually a 10, which is a 7.2, which is, I feel like, a good middle range. But I'm gonna turn it off first here. Okay, gonna hold down the left button to turn it off here. All right, so let's see how the nucleus sounds on the NUMA. We're gonna make sure we keep it at that safe operating speed to begin, so. I have it um, programmed in at a 10, which is a 7.2 volts. See how it looks first. Kind of feeling the weight distribution here. It's really lightweight. It doesn't add a whole lot. It definitely feels less heavy than the other batteries I've, I've tried. So let's see how she sounds. Okay, it resets itself at a one. I, mean, I had it at a 10 before. I mean, it shut itself off, that's interesting. All right, so we, <laughs> um, the Nucleus uh, came with a two battery pack. The first one um, shut itself off, so we reset it by plugging it in. We wanna see if we would have the same trouble with the other one, and um, as you can see, <laughs> um, we pushed it in and it seemed a little snug, tried to pull it out, and it detached, so. Um, I'm probably going to return this product. Sorry, Hard Life Rotary, uh, <laughs> but I think you could do better. It feels a little cheaper than it should for how much I spent on it, I'll tell you that much. Maybe that's why these things are on sale. Yeah, so um, let's take a look at why this might have happened. Diagnostically, I would say I see a uh, glue here. Um, not to say that other people don't use glue, um, but maybe the, the glue wasn't enough or uh, not sure. This looks like it twists in, so you would think the threading would keep it from ripping out. I would say also, just I know the lightweight system is nice, but I'm sort of not impressed with the material. This thing's plastic with painted gold glued together. I'm upset. 
<laughs> Can I just say that? Yeah. I, I waited a week for this, and it not only did it not work with the Numa, but it almost broke my Numa. I mean, no, it didn't. My husband said it didn't almost break it, but um, it was stuck in here for a little bit, and we had to pull it out. That's upsetting to me. I just got this thing. I barely got to use it. Jeez. All right, well, uh, so far I can only honestly say the best... Uh, portable power supply that I've tried so far is a $60 one from Amazon. Yeah, okay. yeah. Uh, Hello, ladies and gentlemen. I have returned with the Nucleus box. And in it, one broken battery. <laughs> And one normal battery. So we reached out to Hard Life Rotary and they did get back to us uh, pretty quickly within a day or two, two days, and they let us know that they would replace this battery um, free of charge and sent us tracking numbers. So we'll let you know when that arrives. But yeah, so what did we find out about the Nucleus uh, in the meantime? So this is the Hawink battery here I got on Amazon. It is not not a bad battery. I've been happy uh, using it on the dagger uh, pen I got on Amazon too and on the silicone and it's been performing really well. So, so far of the batteries I've tried out under a hundred bucks, this one's my favorite. So I'm going to compare this one to the Nucleus. Let's just try to start up this heavy brass Numa. Just got this puppy. Love it. Yeah, it matches at least. Oh, look at that. You can really tell the material now. Pretty, hey, pretty, pretty, hey, pretty. No, that's cool. I'm not sure how long the paint on this thing will last, to be honest, but this thing's gone. Just forget about that thing. Like, I'm sure. Nobody has this on, on it anymore. <laughs> okay, not trying to clown on it. It's light. That is one of its perks. The Nucleus is quite light uh, compared to most batteries. Let's check it out. I just happen to have the scale here. This is the Hawink battery from Amazon. Coming in at 92 grams. Forty-eight grams for the nucleus. So yeah. It's like half the weight, give or take. So there it is connected. So it seemed to start it up. Is that a nine? I need my card. <laughs> I gotta say, this card's a little irritating. Okay. 6.9, oh my goodness. I shouldn't go above a 16. So one of the things I noticed just from handling it in front of the camera, I guess, is that the buttons on top of the battery, which I feel like is just a little bit inconvenient for, I don't know, turning this sideways. It doesn't, it just feels wrong with the needle and everything for safety issues. <laughs> I think just based on the, having it, the thing on the face of it like this is actually pretty smart, even though this is a little chunkier, I know. But it worked. All right, so here's the Hawink from Amazon. Let's try that thing out, see if, see if it will run the Numa with a 14-round liner. Definitely more bulky <laughs> and awkward. If you're looking for the weight distribution to be a little bit more like a traditional rotary machine, I would say this is actually a pretty good option for you. It does weight it a little more in the back, which 
um, gives it that same, like, very similar feeling, like painting or, you know, not as much like the, the pen style. Uh, so that may be just personal preference versus, you know, maybe someone who's more into the pen style, like with the nucleus here. Let's see. Oh, there we're having some trouble. Okay, so we're probably too low. Mm -hmm. So, all right, maybe we're having that trouble, babe. It's starting up. All right, here we go. The nucleus battery, I plugged it back in and it's not working. So that's interesting. Let's see if <laughs> we can reset it. So uh, the, it says that if this happens, you should plug it back into your USB, micro USB. Mm-hmm. That you gotta pull you out. You gotta pull out. All right. It connects like so. I will pull this out now. <laughs> We're gonna look, uh, turn it back on here. I'm gonna try going up in power to at least maybe above, you know, like a seven. So turn it back off. Plug her in. There it goes. Uh, good lesson there. If you decide to invest in the nucleus, one of the helpful things to know that we just discovered here is that it can shut itself off and it has a safety feature where it won't turn back on unless you reset it by plugging it in. And then uh, if you're trying to start up a higher needle grouping and it doesn't work, you can do that and then turn up the voltage before you plug it in. Turn up the voltage, turn it off, plug it in, turn it on. It should be at that voltage again. It doesn't reset itself. Okay, so that is cool. Let's see if I can plug this one in and out like easily and turn it the fuck back on. And uh, see what's there. That is six. What if I turn it down? Like it doesn't go lower than the five. It still turns on. So the Hollink's not a bad battery. 60 bucks, Amazon. Seems to keep working over and over again. Just at six volts there. And it seemed to turn on just fine. That's a 14 round liner. That again, but that's a larger needle group. All right, so final thoughts on the nucleus at least is that it's lighter, it's shiny, it comes in a lot of cool colors. It costs a pretty penny for the quality, just the cost is kind of questionable to me. I know I, I actually got it on sale, but uh, it was about half off actually, but the original asking price was 300 bucks, so. I don't know, it's kind of, it just seems kind of high to me for a battery that's a little finicky when you could probably just invest in an Amazon one unless the size just really bugs you, you know? Just tr gotta try it out for yourself maybe, but you know where to start. <laughs> uh, and then, yeah, so I will also say this card is kind of annoying. I think other people don't like voltage conversions either. Like I said, great customer service. I already got a tracking number to replace this puppy here. I really hope nothing like this happens again. Basically, what we chalked it up to was, uh, I don't know. Okay, that about wraps it up, but remember to smash that like button and subscribe to my channel. Um, I'm gonna be trying out this Numa with the Nucleus on my next episode where I work on my husband's leg. We'll give it a shot. Thank you, man.